In this video, I'm going to be doing my first ever planner review on this channel. It's going to be a review of the Papier Nikcheni Classic Undated Planner. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this planner coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Papier Nixeni Classic Planner. Uh, these I do carry at thepapermind.com, and Blake's Broadcast viewers and subscribers can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. This is a brand from Poland that I really like. They make these by hand in their studio in, in Krakow. They're really good quality. They use good quality paper. All the components in them are really nice. And I've been wanting to add a planner you know, to my store for a while. I would someday love to design my own. But until then, you know, I think these are really excellent. So let's go through them. These are undated planners, so you can use them, at, start them at any time of the year, which is what I really like because for me, I never time that perfectly. Just going through, we have this slipcase here, belly band, which has some Polish on here and then English, so 160 pages. We have a paperboard cover, a soft cloth spine, which opens flat, and it's crafted in Poland. You can see planner on the side here and crafted in Poland by Papier Nick Zeni. So let's take this off. So opening this up, we have a paste down in the front and a place for your name or whatever, the year. And then we go into sort of like the monthly pages. We have the whole year on two pages here. So you get 12 months, so you can just really you know, highlight kind of important events or trips here. And then you have a normal month on two pages here. So a month spread like normal calendar. And I believe we actually get um, 13 here. So again, if you start in the middle of the month, you're going to have enough space. It's not really an issue. And from there, we have the weekly spread, which is the main portion of this notebook. There are, I believe, around 54 there's there's a couple more than 52 weeks and we have a dot grid here which is five millimeter dot grid and then below we have sort of this blank space where you can draw or put notes whatever you want I used one of these quite a bit before I decided to carry one and I really like this layout because I can see everything for the week all at once and I find that, you know, I can just highlight all of like the really important stuff in the spread. And I typically like to put it on a stand on my desk. I use these before breakfast stands. These are made in the UK and they really can hold the notebook up and, you know, just have a very low footprint on my desk so I can just see, you know, the whole week out in front of me. And then at the end, there's about 20 or so pages of the five millimeter dot grid, which is just nice for extra notes, just a good place to put extra things. Now let me, I'll switch to the one that I'm currently using here. We have a sort of rose gold colored ribbon bookmark, which matches the rose gold foil. Now when we open this up, I will show the um, paper test that I did here. And this is really, really excellent paper. It's really smooth, very, very nice to write on. Looking at the face of this, everything here looks really quite good. There's no feathering. Everything looks great. We get a nice amount of sheen on this Organics Studio Nitrogen. It looks quite nice. Now, coming to the back here, with that six millimeter Pilot Parallel, the spots where it's overlapped a little bit, like you can just see these kind of splotches here came through a little bit. Now I did a double pass here and nothing came through. And then the rest of like all the normal pens, all the other fountain pens completely passed, flying colors, no issues there at all. Roller balls, felt tip pens, uh, fine liners, all those normal types of pens worked great. 
Copic Sketch definitely came through, as did the Sharpie, and the Pilot Oil Drawing Pen just in a few spots. It's a really nice paper to write on. It's thick, so you don't have a lot of ghosting. You know, at 100 GSM, I think it, it works really well. It's not too heavy where it's overly thick, but it's thick enough where you get a good opacity in the paper. And in terms of the binding, you know, you can just see here, it's really flexible. The resistance is really just down to the the paper, it's not the cover at all. It's, yeah, super, super flexible, and it lays really, really flat without really much effort at all. So that is the Undated Planner by Papier Nixeni. So what are my pros and cons for the Papier Nixeni Classic Undated Planner? Well, the biggest pro for me is definitely the build quality. I love all the haptics um, that you get with this ribbed cover here, the linen sort of tape on the, the spine here, and the super smooth 100 GSM paper. It's really good with fountain pens. The binding is super nice. It lays flat, it's stitched, 16 page signatures. Basically everything I want to see there. And just the overall aesthetic of this with the rose gold uh, comes in six really nice colors. There's a lot to like here. I also really like the layout, you know, the, the weak on one spread is my preferred planner layout just so I can see you know all the the most important things that are coming up on each day throughout the week so that works really nice for me and of course being undated you can start this at any time you don't have to buy one in December or January or whatever it's only $28 I think that's a really good price for a handmade notebook like this you know it's not cheap but if you want to use fountain pens this is a really, really excellent option. And just for the quality that you get, I think $28 is really not bad at all. Now, um, of course, you do get 10% off with code booby 10 at checkout. In terms of cons, this is, you know, an undated planner, which is what I pretty much always, always use, but some people won't like that. And a downside of an undated planner is certain holidays won't be printed in there. Uh, you won't know that February this year only has 28 days or 29 days, um, small little things like that, but really this is a super awesome planner. I like that you have a full year here. Uh, you do get those 20 or so pages in the back uh, for notes, and there's a, a place in each week where you have spots for notes or drawing or you know whatever you want to use. There's extra space there. It's not filled up with any extra fluff. I know I was just doing cons, <laughs> but anyway, you won't have, it's undated, so you won't have, you know, the dates, the holidays in there, but other than that, I think it's really pretty awesome. Okay, do you guys have this planner? Do you like this planner? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time. <laughs>